What's up, everyone? Welcome to Ya yeah, Ya yeah, Ya yeah Podcast Episode 3 with me, Smash Bob, and Jeremy. And we're just here to hang out, chat about what's been going on in life. It's a show in no format, and it's all about the good times. Yes, uh... So, Jeremy, what's been up with you this week? I'm very proud to announce mm. that I have finally watched Shit's Creek. Oh my god! Yes! Oh, just two days ago, or was it yesterday, that I, I asked you you haven't watched yet? Yeah. And I watched it this morning because I knew I had to do homework before okay. I came and did the uh, podcast. How many episodes have you watched? Just one so far. Good. It's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> the whole series is like that, isn't it's it? It's like that. The whole series is episode one times 100. Okay, so because like, I remember the last time we did the podcast and you are telling me about the show, it, we found that it was, uh, you told me it's very annoying. Yes. And I watched it and I understand. Yeah. Like nobody is likable. There is so much shouting. There's not a single person that is like, except maybe the receptionist girl. For now. For now. Which I don't have any high hopes because so far like 90% <laughs> of the characters there are just terrible. Correct. Oh man. But, so uh, what, 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 what else do you get from the show, episode one? I, I think, I, I, I get the sense that it is, it's like, you're right. Like it's, it's like the cringy mm. kind of like, almost like, like the office a bit, like the, like the, have you, yeah, right? Where you watch yes. and you're just like, why are you like that? Why are you doing this? Ah! Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and you have to go through the, it's a very stressful show because of it. Somewhat stress, stressful. Yeah. Right? But it's not as stressful as Office, I feel. Okay. This one is still like, okay. But do you, do, do, do you, do you feel that you are part of the characters in the show whereby you kind of feel the, the cringiness and also the awkwardness in yeah. the scenes, you know, stuff like For that? For real. Right? For real. And, and every time I watch this show, I just thought to myself, why you all just can't talk properly? Like, can you all just have normal, civilized conversation? I think if this was my family, mm. I disowned long time already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. So, it, okay, I, I am at episode like 10 still. Okay. No, I, I, I stopped watching. Episode 10, season one. Season one. Out of six seasons currently on Netflix, which you just saw. Correct. Oh, they man. have six seasons. And uh, I think the, the the season that we are watching now is actually from 2018. Oh, wow. Something like that. It's very long. Yeah. But but anyway, uh, I stopped watching. Because you couldn't handle the stress, the cringiness? No, because it's kind of repetitive. Like the annoyance, you know, and uh, the cringiness is kind of repetitive because every single episode, they are trying to do the same thing. Right. Right. And to be honest, I have never laughed once from episode one to ten. <laughs> but you watched that as a comedy. It's not a comedy. I don't know what it is, but it's just a show that makes people feel annoyed. You know what my fear is when yeah. it comes to watching a show, like TV shows? I don't know about you, but mm. when I watch um, a lot of TV shows or, okay. or I binge a show, uh. I, I will absorb some form of personality or worldview from the show. Okay. So like, so like if I watch like the whole season of The Witcher in like mm. a day, mm. like I will start talking like this for a while, wow. you know? Okay. Or, or like if like I watch like I was watching Taxi Driver uh. and I'm like, wow, this guy's jacket very nice. I just want to wear jacket and like wear like skinny jeans and I like walk yeah, around like that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I, I feel like the shows have a way of like incepting themselves into my day to day for a while as yeah, I'm into okay, it. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I watch Shit's Creek. Mm. So what do you think that you will get from the show? I will start screaming at everybody la, and I'm just be annoying. La. It's like, <laughs> close the door. <laughs> I ask you to close the door. <laughs> <laughs> like overreact and jump to conclusions. I'm right. that's my fear, man. I don't want to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna balance it out. But but the characters are kind of exciting. I feel like the show is produced by the father and the son itself. Okay, like themselves, yeah. right? Eugene Levy and Daniel, Daniel Levy. Levy. Yeah, and I think they are quite popular, right? Because I remember seeing them in some shows before, but I can't remember which shows they were from. Eugene Levy was the dad in American Pie. Oh, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. But the Daniel Levy, if that's his name, I, I don't know where he's from. But he he looks kind of familiar, you know. He does, doesn't he? Yeah, he's like from some some real what reality show or something from Netflix. I don't know what it is. Maybe, yeah. maybe I'm wrong, <laughs> but whatever. Lah. Yeah, so yeah. anyway, that's Shit's Creek. Yes, and uh, if you've not seen it, we want you to join us on this journey of misery. I will try to get to a few more episodes and let's see whether it grows on me or not. Okay, have, have you met the mayor yet? Yeah, the first episode, this mayor oh. go to people's room, <laughs> pangsai, and like, like, what is going on? Why are you like this? What's wrong with you? Yeah, like, like the father said, oh, we need our, our private time now. Yeah. Like, can you, you know, remember? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, and the then he's like, still there. And he's like, oh yeah, yeah, sure, sure. He's close the curtains. I'm like, 
Bro. <laughs> but if you think about it, yeah. we've met, I'm sure we've met people like not so extreme, but there are people who just yeah. cannot read the room a little Correct. bit. Correct. Like, hello, don't you get it? Right. Like, I need you to leave the room now, but why are you still here? And I think that's the thing about Shizuku. I think it's all mm. these small personality types. And then they exaggerate it. Exaggerated. Mm. And mm. that's why it's stressful because it feels very familiar at the same and time. And you can relate because yeah. there are people like this in real life. Yes, yes. But sometimes you don't want to relate to annoying things. Yeah. yeah. And also all of them, they don't look good in the show. Like none of them looks good. They don't look like traditionally like hot or whatever. Like, ah, you, uh, like, you just don't like looking at these faces. Just the like, way look that, at the mirror. It's just the way it's shot, right? Like almost like purposely not so flattering one. Ah. Yeah. Oh man. So, so, anyway. so we say this now and we're criticizing the show, but your 10 episodes in, I highly suspect I'll be watching this every morning for breakfast, but we'll see how it goes. You should, like. you should. Because at the end of the day, you might want to know how annoying they can be. <laughs> just um, to see like how far they can be miserable. Yeah, I think... The most annoying person in this show is the mayor. Because mm -hmm. what you experience in episode one is just a little bit of it only. Oh no. Yeah, episode two and three onwards, you're like, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so enough about Shits Creek. What yeah. else has been happening with you this week? What's going on? Uh, this week, uh, I was with you. Yes, right? we did. And a yeah. very interesting event. Oh um, man. Like, if you, if, you, if you are not aware, we both love drinking. Yes, we do. We love drinking. We are not alcoholics. Mm, mm, we mm. just enjoy a good having drink. like some alcohol inside our mouth. That's it. <laughs> right? You don't have to swallow to speed back out. Ah, just, <laughs> uh, yeah, because we don't want to get drunk. We don't like getting drunk. You know, we are like good people. <laughs> we just like the taste of alcohol, you know. So anyway, we were, we were in this uh, event by uh, Remy Quantro. Remy Quantro. Remy Quantro, yes. And uh, we, we, we got the chance to, to try out some of their, their alcohol. Mm. Alcohol, what are? Alcohol cocktails. Like cocktails? Alcoholic or? cocktails. Mm. Yes. Um, one is, one is uh, what? Remy Martin. Yeah. And one more is Botanis Gin. And the third one was what? Uh? It was a uh, whiskey base. Whiskey base. Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah, I just, just, just want to share that it was an interesting event and we love it because we went home with a bottle of XO each. <laughs> it's the best. So... <laughs> If, if you are an event organizer or you're thinking about running an event, like the, the, me and Jason's favorite types of events, like hands down, of mm. all these years going mm. to events, the favorite ones are the ones that serve you good alcohol mm -hmm. on like a free flow. Free flow, yes. Yeah. Like they are a very generous one. one. They yeah. just let you drink. Yeah. Uh. And it must be good. Yes. Because we can tell when it's watered down. Uh. It's not that great. Yeah. And also, like it was held in this uh, bar called 3X Co, Ooh. which is one of my favorite bars in KL. It's not a new bar, but it recently it has become like one of my favorite bars. You know, so when they say, oh, we want to invite you to this event to drink an unlimited alcoholic uh, cocktails in this bar called 2XO, I'm like, what? Unlimited cocktails in my favorite bar? What? <laughs> Can I go there now? <laughs> <laughs> we have never been more on time for an event. Ah, correct. <laughs> yeah, we were just waiting outside of a door for them to open. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Alcohol oh. makes like it really makes an event better. Mm. That's mm. that that really is it. That's how I believe it. Mm. I don't know how I enjoy an event without if like didn't have alcohol is a bit not so fun. Basically, we just enjoy having alcohol at events, lah. It's true. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. I um, but food is also very important. Oh yes, and mm. there was some really good food at that event. Yeah, the food is by Huckleberry. It was delicious. Mm, not sponsored, but you know, just mentioning. Do you, <laughs> I mean, do you realize that in Malaysia, what? sometimes uh, when people have events, uh, and I'm not saying this particular, this particular event, uh, Remy Control, it was like three o'clock, so I went there, it was, it was fine. Yeah. But sometimes when you go to e events in the evening, mm. what I find particularly like strange and annoying is there is a 7, a 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. dinner time event. Okay. So and, you expect dinner. And they give you finger food. Oh, oh yeah, yes. And your event is until 10 o'clock. Yeah, correct. I know what you mean. Like, what is, like, give us, if you, like, a, just a taco. <laughs> I would, like, give me a taco. Like, just proper taco, not like those, those little bits of taco that you poke using the toast pig one. Correct. Uh. Yeah, because, you know, what's going to happen is I, I'm going to stand by the caterer and exit. Correct. And just like. <laughs> huh. I'll just take the whole tray. Lah. I'll be the caterer and then I'll serve myself. <laughs> Because, nah, yeah. so there were so many events like this like prior to COVID yep. you know that we, we attended and I realised that hey you you stupid or what? 
Huh? You you take up my dinner time, you know. I'm supposed to be at some restaurants eating some nice food now, but you want me to be at your event, and then you serve me like spoons of little meat and cucumber. Right. You know? And then then how? Then where's the good food? Or where's the proper food at least? And you, you- kind of feel bad constantly just taking from the tray. Because ah. like, you are the only, like I'm always like the only person like, hey, bring here, give me three of these and come back when you make your rounds. Yeah. And the thing is, you also realize mm. that people around you, they are also hungry. Yeah. But they, they have to pretend like, oh, it's okay. You know, we're at this fancy event. We're just going to have some finger food <gasps> for the whole night. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. No, I've learned to be shameless. Yeah. Somebody has to eat the food. It Correct. might as well be, be us. Correct. Me also. <laughs> I don't care. I just take like, if I'm hungry, right? I will just talk loudly and say, hey, is this all the food? <laughs> huh? So, so what? All this is for me, right? One person, right? <laughs> like that. Yeah. yeah no. So anyway, two years, no event like that. Never mind. Never maybe, mind. Maybe they'll be smarter after this. Hopefully. Huh? Event organizers, if you're listening, remember. Huh? Or you set your event to after 8.30. Uh, a little first. bit after, right? Huh? Just Correct. one hour later also can. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Right. Oh, speaking of events, mm. who which, which is like not very convenient kind of event. Okay. It's our meal time. Uh. So recently, there's this uh, phone brand uh-huh. that uh, wants, they, 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 they want like media to go and try out the phones. Okay. Right. It's a, they call it the, what uh, the experience session. Okay. Whereby you just go there and experience the phones, right? Mm. And it's held in a hotel. Right. Right. And guess the timing. Like, okay, it's a 1.5 hours thing uh-huh. from the event, lah. Okay, uh-huh. I tell you, lah, it's from 6 p.m. I was about to say six, right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's from 6 p.m. Right. It's held at a hotel. Okay. With no, no, nothing, nothing. You know, nothing one. You just there. They pass you the phones. You play whatever, take your video, whatever, and then you leave. Just like that. Just like that. It's no different from going into Laoyat and. <laughs> saying like, uh, hey, let me see this phone. Ah, uh, correct. <laughs> at, at least, at least some food and drinks, right? At least six to seven thirty. What does that mean? Dinner time. Dinner time. Dinner time. Yeah, lor. On Did the bright you... side, at least they let you go at seven thirty. Go eat McDonald's afterwards. Ah, uh, true lah. But then again, I didn't go. <laughs> oh, because it's dinner time. Because this time I don't know what to do there. It's like I, I just go there to play your phone, ah. But you know, then then how I hungry? You know, I'm always hungry. Yeah. So yeah, lor. Oh, it's so interesting. I I. Yeah, man. Sometimes, I mean, I understand there are limitations when it comes to events and there obviously there's a budget and there's like mm. an idea that you want to do. Mm. But if you are the one going to an event, mm. it's a bit tricky sometimes because you really have to manage your timing a little bit and you Yellow. will cut out things from your supposed routine. Or your, uh, right? Yellow. Yeah. Which is why now everything's going online. You can eat your dinner at home while the event's going on. Uh, everything just stream. I might say just stream. Lah. Stream all the events. and then you, you show me your phone. You show me your, your alcohol. Uh, on Zoom. <laughs> and then I will pour myself and pretend I'm drinking alcohol. Uh, or you send the thing for us first. Then you say, okay, you can only open this bottle uh, during the Zoom call with us. I don't a- mind. As an events MC, this is very scary to hear <laughs> because I need the live events. That is true. <laughs> hey, but then again, you know, there are people who host like live events, ma, like online events. Ma. That is true. That is mm. true. That is true. Well, you know, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of uh, live streaming, mm. how's your internet connection re- lately? You asking because I mentioned it just now, right? Yeah. Okay. So the internet situation in my house now is is becoming unstable, uh. Okay. Like sometimes mm. the line will just drop, mm. and I don't know if it's like my router or if it's my service provider, mm-hmm. and it's not just my like my 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 one device. It's like certain device, my PC mm. will just drop suddenly, and it's terrible when I'm playing game halfway. Oh. There is nothing more stressful than you middle of a Dota game and suddenly like disconnected, and you're like, <laughs> hey, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I remember you, you you telling me this before. So, so, so I, I then you know when when these things happen immediately you go into a panic and you do all the usual like reset connection ah, thing. Like correct. You go and off like, Wi-Fi, on Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Count ten seconds, plug <laughs> it back in. <laughs> all right. Yeah, the usual stuff. It's so stressful. But and what what internet are you using? I'm using Unify. Unify. Yeah. Oh, do you think it's very fine? <sighs> it's not very fine, right? It has it has it's stressful lah. It's stressful. It's so anyway, stressful. right? I think you should use what I'm using. Okay. Because uh, I think it's quite reliable. Uh, I'm using the Maxis Home Fiber. And you're using it at home and in your studio here as well? 
Yes, I'm using it at home first. Mm. And then when I set up my studio, I actually put my system fiber here as well. Okay. Uh, I'm on the 800 Mbps connection. How much is that? 200 plus. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, so the thing is when, when I sign up, right, I can actually sign up under this zero lution plan because you back then right zero lution is only for like phones man yeah 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 normally uh, you get like a new iPhone with zero lution uh, whatever, right? Right. Yeah. now the the home fiber is also under zero lution so right. that means the moment you sign up to this Maxis uh home fiber thing right mm. you can actually get like your gadgets at one ringgit onwards every month <gasps> like you saw the 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 PS5 right. in my studio uh. like iPad minis right you know like they also have like Samsung TVs so all these things, right? Once you sign up to this home fiber under zero lution, uh, you just pay one ringgit only, and they give you a whole. And then they give stuff. you lah, whatever you, you just pick which gadget you want, what? tablets lah, whatever lah, you know. Then you just take lah, take home lah, and then you use. And, and you don't have any problems with your internet connection. Uh, actually, so far, not really. Not that I can remember. Okay. Really. So it's very rare lah. It's very very rare. Oh wow! Yeah. And okay, so like, so the thing that you know. People always talk about download speeds, right? Yeah. But you are also a content creator. You got YouTube videos mm. oh. and you shoot 4K. So I want to know oh about God. like the yes. upload speeds and stuff. Because I stream. So streaming is also like uploading, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking yeah. of upload, right? Um, when I first got the, the this uh, home fiber thing, uh. I was shocked. Okay. You know, because I, I upload videos to YouTube all the time. Right. I edit, edit, edit. I render, render, render. And then I upload to YouTube. Yeah. Right. Usually when I upload to YouTube, it takes about 15 to 30 minutes to upload like a 4K, uh, like four, gig, four, gig, four gig videos, yeah. right? Nowadays, uh. with the the connection that I'm using, right. I click upload, uh. Uh. I click upload, I can see already, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 15, 30%, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, done. In like five minutes. In sorry. like, Two, three minutes. That's super fast. Four gigs. Uh. Yeah. So I usually, right, you know what I do? What? I click upload, right? Uh. And then it goes to the next screen where I have to enter the title, put thumbnail yeah. and those things. So I enter title, I put my thumbnail, I type my description. And then when I click next to fill in whatever other things, right? It's already completed. Wow. So I just continue putting my text, uh, all those things. Uh, and then I just click save. And then it's already processing one. Okay. So it will process, but that one is the YouTube's YouTube's YouTube side, lah. Yeah. The processing but side. But it's already right? there. Already it's already right? up yeah, there. Yeah. So basically, I can just switch off my computer and just wait for it yep. to process. Yep. So, I mean, the only benefits that I can really, really feel is the uploading of videos to YouTube. So you are a very happy Maxis customer, like that. I'm very happy now. Oh, okay. This is a. Uh, this is good because like. You are you are like my go-to guy for a lot of like tech stuff, right? So yeah, if yeah, yeah. And I know any recommendation from you is is quite strong, man. Like uh, you won't simply say it's good. Correct, it's correct, good. correct, correct. That's why that's why if, like I use it at home, and mm. then when I come here, I'm like, I don't want to choose other things. Right. I, choose, I just choose the same thing. You already know it's good, so correct. might as well continue, right? Correct, correct, correct. And some eight hundred Mbps. Yes, is it's actually very fast. Yeah, man. But ah, uh, yellow. I think it's quite fast. Okay, mm, I will. Uh, I will look into this. Uh, do a little surfing on the Maxis website. Mm. Oh, what's the What's the blank call again? Was it? Uh, Maxis Home Fiber under Zero Lution. Okay. Yes. Uh. Mm, I also give me a new PlayStation there or TV there. Oh, like suddenly, hey, just got a new TV. Why? Hey, yeah. It's it's just one ringgit, my zero. <laughs> Since you sign up this thing, right? You just pay one ringgit only, <laughs> Like to be fair, right? The motivation is to get a new TV uh. for one ringgit. Yeah. I I I saw just now. Uh. One, one ringgit for and the for the new iPad Mini. Right. Yeah. Oh, one ringgit for new iPad Mini. Yes. Like nine ringgit for the iPad Pro. Wow. Ah, that's it. This is so nice. <laughs> yeah. This is so good. I love it. So anyway. Yeah. That's okay. that. Oh, okay, okay. So like, fast, fast internet is so important. Mm. Like when it comes to like your house and your space, mm. like what is the first most important thing that you think is like crucial to be put inside? Internet law. Internet law. Uh. Like no bed. Uh, no no, other than internet, uh, mm. another very important thing is aircon. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like how do you expect me to shoot video by just having a fan on the side? I cannot let I sweat one, you know. I'm like, I'm like, I sweat all the time one. So I need aircon. Oh, that's a good point actually. Yeah. That's a good point. And then, and then bed law. Aircon, internet and bed. 
Ah, uh, echo internet a bit. And then drinks. That one, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, no. Like, no fridge also that I might put against the wall. Ah, uh, <laughs> put on the floor. <laughs> I love it. Uh, oh man. Oh, oh speaking of movies, um uh, The Batman, did you hear about like how it's supposedly almost three hours long? What Batman? Like oh, the, the, the Twilight Twilight guy, uh. Robert Pattinson. <laughs> I haven't watched any of the recent trailers yet. Oh my god. It's three hours long. Supposedly like, Why? Uh, I don't know. I mean they want to give you more darkness. <laughs> they want to give you more brightness <laughs> from the shimmering skin. <laughs> Hey, no more, dear. He went from shimmering to I have. Hey, Avengers. imagine the mouth here is shimmering one. That's not the. That's not Batman anymore. <laughs> that's, a, that's like a what? Ah, vampire Batman. Yeah, man. That's a man bat. <laughs> there was actually a, a a comic like what if or Elseworlds story where uh. like Batman was a vampire. Oh, like a, it's like a, the DC equivalent of a what if. Really? Yeah, yeah, such yeah, thing? yeah. What's there, it called? I think it's called Elseworlds. Elseworlds. Yeah. Okay. So 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 there was this entire storyline where like Batman is straight up vampire and so he go and suck the blood of his enemies and stuff. Wow, like Bat lah. Uh-huh. Hey, Bat. Bat don't suck people's blood, right? right. Uh, got, no, I mean, they don't suck people's blood, but some bats drink blood lah. Uh, okay lah, then it's quite suitable, right? The yeah. whole idea. Yeah. Mm. I love it. So, so, it's actually quite, it was actually quite interesting. So if you're interested in like checking so out- So do you, do you feel that this Twilight guy is okay to be Batman? Actually, you know what? Have you seen- the reason was no. Him in other movies, except for Twilight? No. <laughs> He's good. Really? Yeah. He's a good actor. But he, he looks pale. Yes, because he's like British. So <laughs> <laughs> they don't have very much a lot of sun there. But but he's a legit good actor, man. Okay. Like he was in um Ah oh crap, I can't remember. There's this one movie where he he was like Timothy Chalamet played like a Who is Timothy Chalamet? The the guy from Dune, the, the main character from Dune. I don't know, I never watched Dune. Okay, <laughs> and uh well he's you should Timothy Chalamet is the new the new like young boy actor starting. Oh like, okay. like he could be Tom Holland replacement. Not even Tom Holland replacement. Like he's like next the next Leo DiCaprio oh, really? level of actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's oh. that. He's not like pop actor. He's like, like proper actor's actor. Okay, okay. And so he, there was this movie, I forgot what it was called, where Timothy Chalamet played the English king and he went to war with France and Robert Pattinson played the French king, which I found very interesting because Timothy Chalamet is a French name playing English king. Robert Pattinson is actually English playing like a- Playing a French Yeah, king. yeah. But Pattinson was so good in this movie. Oh. Like so like arrogant and like, okay, you, really, okay. like you look at him, you like, you want to slap his face because uh. he's just so good. Oh. So, and, and then recently I also watched him this other movie called The Lighthouse. The Lighthouse. It's this black and white movie. Is it movie. like The Notebook? No. It, no, definitely not. <laughs> Notebook's a romantic movie, right? Uh. The Lighthouse is this very cinematic black and white movie. Basically only two people in the entire movie. Him uh. and Willem Dafoe. Okay. And they, the movie is about these two guys who are caretakers of a lighthouse. Wow. So when you're a caretaker of a lighthouse, the lighthouse is like a small rock in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, correct. And you're just supposed to juggle the lighthouse for like uh-huh. s- like six months or whatever, and okay. you have to like, you know? And then they it goes through a little bit of this weird psychological horror conflict. Weirdness between that, both of them. Between the two of them. Mm, yeah. This reminds me of another movie. What? Uh, many, many, many years ago, I forgot the name. Maybe you know after I mentioned a little bit more. Uh, it's by Jude Law. Ooh. Um, Jude Law and this other old guy, like De Niro or something. Like okay. it's just two of them in the movie mm-hmm. and it's a very good movie. What's it about? Um, it's also by, it's also like these two fella, you know, psychological uh, war between both of them. Right. You know, like when you put two very good actors in the movie, like you, you, you eventually just enjoy their acting and it's a very good show. I, I don't know what is the name of the movie, but it's very, very good. You should watch it. Right now, you've not given me anything to work with in terms of how to even Google this movie. Just, Jude just Law, old actor, good movie. This <laughs> type Jude Law movies. You know what? You right. know what? You, you know, know what? what? Let's, now. let's put it to the test, all right? I'm just going to type in all the information here. Jude Law, an old man, good movie. Let's see whether it comes up, all right? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's how, see how accurate this uh, Google search is. Is the name of the movie Enemy at the Gates? No. All the King's Men? No. Uh, Repo Men? No. I'm going to look at 10 best Jude Law movies. Ah, okay, uh. okay, okay, okay. Is it Cold Mountain? Uh, 
Maybe not. Okay, not Rise of the Guardians. Animated. Talented Mr. Ripley. No, that has uh, Matt Damon. Uh, uh, not Sherlock Holmes. That's Game no, of Thrones. No, 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 no. Hugo. No, no, that's a good Enemy of the Gates. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes again. Road to Perdition. No. Uh, Gataka. Gataka. Maybe. But Gataka is more of an Ethan Hawke movie. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Then maybe not. Uh, the Grand Budapest Hotel. No, 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 not no. that one. It's not on the list of the 10 best oh, Jude Law no. movies. It it's not, oh, is no. it even Jude Law, my friend? I Yes, it's Jude. Okay, why don't you just search for Jude Law movies? Okay, okay, okay. Jude Law movies. <laughs> I love this. This is what we're doing. Googling on Jude Law movies. Then just give me the phone. I, I just look at the whole list. Okay. Uh, okay, so Jude Law. View more. Uh, the Nest, Black Sea, Sherlock Holmes, Side Effects, Genius, Spy, The Talented Mr. Ripley, no. Don't marry Alfie. Uh, is it Closer? No, Closer, closer is, a, is a really uh, good movie, though, which I liked. Uh, uh, it's got Natalie Portman. Oh my god, actually I forgot lah which one. Oh no. Yeah, but anyway. I mean, <laughs> Dude Law is a good actor. <laughs> you know what the best? This, this, <laughs> Movie recommendations with Smash Pop. <laughs> this is a movie starring Jude Law and this old man actor. It remind, uh, like the movie Lighthouse reminds me of you told me it's very good. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Is this very good? You should watch it. Jude Law is a very good actor. I'm like, oh, what's the name of the movie? It's such a it. Let me search. <laughs> I forgot the name of the movie, but he's a very good actor. Then how to watch the movie? He's just there, like, just watch all of Jude Law's movie. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you just find a picture of Jude Law and another guy one. That's it. Right. <laughs> Like that. Maybe, it, okay, like maybe it's not Jude Law. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We uh, went from Jude Law is a damn good actor, this is a damn good Jude Law movie to maybe the actor isn't even Jude Law. <laughs> wait, wait, if it's not Jude Law, then who else? I don't know. <laughs> Some guy lah. Okay, there's a movie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. There's a very good movie that okay. I watched. Okay. okay. <laughs> Starring two guys. All right. Okay, and in the whole movie, it's just two of them only. Okay. Uh. What is the plot? What are they doing? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> so for all you know, it could be Rush Hour, starring Jackie Chan and Chris Rock. And <laughs> <laughs> it can be face off. It can be face off. <laughs> two guys. Two. No, no, no. Is the it Bad Boys? <laughs> Will Smith and... <laughs> Uh, definitely not I Am Legend. <laughs> Never had a dog. No, no. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, anyway. Uh, <laughs> okay, la, okay, la. I, okay. I just want to tell you that I saw a nice movie. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Jason, I think like, before our next podcast, uh. we're going to have this one week where we're going to need to come to the, to the mis- like we need to figure out what this movie is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, just want to let our audience know that this is totally not scripted. See, we are not scripted one. <laughs> like if if this was scripted or this has a format, right, we would have known what movie is this. <laughs> I cannot believe this entire interaction just happened. We went on Google and uh, we looked for it, we couldn't even find it. Wait, wait, wait. Open, 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 open again. Okay. I, 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 I. Okay. You know what? I'm going to search for Jude Law two-person movie. <laughs> Jude Law, two-person movie. Uh, two-person movie, okay? Okay. Let me see, huh? Oh, wait, wait. two-person movie, okay. Jude Law. Sleuth. Sleuth. Is it Sleuth? Huh? Is, Jude- it, on, is it or not? Wait, wait, wait. wait. But it's an old movie. It's 2007. I think it's this one. Yomo. Ah. Uh. Is it? Is it? I think it's... Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Was it Jude Law? I think it's this one. Jude Law and Michael Caine? Jude Law and Michael Caine. Old okay. man, right? Yeah, yeah, there old man. There you go. Very good movie. <laughs> <laughs> Two extremely clever British men are in a game of trickery and deceit. Huh. Yes, this one. Confirm. Confirm with Con- job. Confirm, ah. Confirm with job. Confirm, okay. So, uh, well, on the bright side, the mystery is solved. We don't yeah. have to wait there next week. And uh, I get to go home and try and find this what's movie. It, what's it called again? Sleuth. Sleuth. Okay, yeah. so if you guys love uh, Jude Law or two-person movies, you can go and search for Sleuth, okay? Uh, okay. Or The Lighthouse. Or The Lighthouse. But The Lighthouse is a lot darker and creepier. 
Mm. But this, yes. one, this one got color one, not black and white. <laughs> so, whichever movie you choose to watch, let us know. If you've seen it already, let us know in the comments or drop us a message and let us know what you think about this. Uh, this correct. Stuff. Because now you can leave comments, you know, because uh, on Apple Podcasts, uh, other than subscribing, following, and liking our podcast uh, and giving us five stars, no other option, uh, just five stars, okay? Which you, you should. You can also leave comments. Is it comments or reviews? Reviews, lah. Reviews, lah. Reviews, lah. Okay, anyway, you can leave comments on our YouTube version ah. of our podcast. Uh, you can just click on the YouTube link on our episode description above our Instagram links and click on that link and you'll go to our YouTube channel. You can watch us talk um, in like video format and then you can leave a comment there. Uh, how's that? Sounds amazing. And I think that's a good time to wrap up the show. Yeah, man. So let me just finish and tell them uh, where they can subscribe to us first. Mm. Okay, we are officially on Spotify and we are also officially on Apple Podcasts. So whether you're on iPhone or not iPhone or Android or whatever, Windows phone, you can still subscribe and listen to us. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Three yas. Okay, so that's all. Follow us. I'm Smashpop. I'm Jeremy. And we'll see you in episode four.